I Saw the TV Glow was directed by Jane Schoenbrunn and stars Justice Smith and Bridget Lundy Payne and is out in theaters this weekend. This movie is about Owen and Maddie, played by the two leads, who are two teenagers in high school who discover a TV show called The Pink Opaque. One day the show is mysteriously cancelled and it unravels their lives in very bizarre and different ways and that's what the movie is about. This is something that I had no idea about going in. I had no idea of what the movie was going to tackle, what was going to happen, and I didn't even watch any trailers for it. But I was very curious to check it out because I heard a lot of interesting buzz coming out of film festivals. So I went to go see the movie today with a friend of mine, and after it was over, during the credits rolling, I think we just sat there for a bit in some silence. Had no idea what to say about it. I think for me, what I found so interesting about this movie, especially when it came to the idea of this nostalgia around a TV show. It's such an instantly relatable thing, especially when it's shows that were in the 90s and 2000s, and you talk to people right now, especially, you know, when they're recounting those memories. It can always be an interesting conversation because there is a, a fine line between loving something and the, loving something to the point that it, you know, corrupts you in a way that it's not exactly great. For instance, I some of the shows that you know, I, I watched growing up, I used to watch a lot of stuff on Nick, on um, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, you know, I, I used to have a variety of programs that I was super invested in. And my friends were invested in a lot of those programs too, and we would constantly talk about them and it became such a, an important framework of, you know, who we were for that period of time, you know, and one of the things that happens is that eventually the show ends, right? Is there a series finale or an abrupt cancellation, whatever? So what happens then? Where do I go from here? Do I, do I, I guess I have to move on? But so much of my identity, so much of, you know, what I've come to love about things, so much comfort that I found in this show is no longer there. And it becomes this sort of time capsule that every time you're transported back to a certain moment whenever you revisit that or you feel like you can always be in that moment but things change things eventually have to you know progress to the next stage and i think in that sense what you get with i saw the tv glow is something incredibly poignant because the this movie does tackle that aspect of it too. And it leads to some excellent writing and direction from Sean Brun, who does an excellent job of bringing those to the screen and developing a very affecting story. There are a lot of aspects of identity which are explored with this too, which something that, again, is going to stick with you for a long time after the movie is over. And I feel like I've given you one interpretation. There's like 15 other interpretations. You can look at this in so many different ways and so many different contexts and sort of recognize different aspects of how the movie operates in order to, you know, find yourself connecting to it. It's a, such a fascinating watch and I think something about it is that I am still not done processing. Like I feel like there, there is, uh, there are a few movies, incredibly special movies that come up every now and then, where you just have to sort of, you know, take some time with it. So I'm saying this right now, two hours after watching the movie. Ask me two weeks from now, I might say something completely different. But I know that it's a movie that on rewatch is going to play very, very differently, depending on the context that you're watching it with. And I find that to be incredibly great. I mean, for me, that is what defines a really great movie. If you can have that kind of conversation about it going forward. And it also leads to two affecting performances as a result of that. I think Justice Smith gives the best performance of his career over here as Owen. He is someone who is looking for that comfort in that show. He's already not being able to connect with people around him, gather kids around him, his best friend he's no longer best friends with. You know, so the show means a lot to him because after meeting Maddie, it becomes this connection point. It's like, I've got something now, something to hold on to. In the case of Maddie, Bridget Lundy Payne, who also gives a career best performance in their career so far, it connects with her to the point that you can see the reaction as it's going on. There's a very powerful scene, especially where where the two of them are watching the show on her couch. He's watching it and very invested in it and during a, an action sequence she openly starts to cry. There is something about that that immediately connects the viewer to it. It's like of course this show means a lot to you. If it's gone then what, what happens next? And 
and a lot of her life decisions are informed by stuff that she sees in the show. And I'm not going to go too much into that because I don't want to spoil anything, but as the movie progresses, you see more and more of how much it ingrains itself within her to a point that you you kind of understand where she's coming from. But at the same time, you're also thinking, to what end are we going ahead with this? Movie leaves some things like that sort of as questions, which I found to be actually the more, you know, haunting part of it. It's like, where do you go? That question is limitless. There are so many different avenues, so many different roads that can travel. And it's just, it again, the fascinating is the word of the day when it comes to talking about I Saw the TV Glow. I think it's a wonderfully crafted film. Technically amazing as well. Gorgeous cinematography and extremely vivid in terms of its use of colors as well. I mean, that's something that we expected with, the, with this specific movie because there's so much which is writing on that. And that's across the board over here. It sounds amazing too. Great score, but also the sound design. Some of it is incredibly visceral. There's a few moments in particular where it really does sort of... Start, so they, they're going to sear themselves into your brain after you're done watching the movie. I actually really love this movie. And like I said, the movie leaves a lot up to interpretation, especially once you approach the ending. There are certain things that happen that you might either really like it or you might be frustrated. I am very curious to see what the responses are going to be over there. But I think it's just so interesting that, you know, the, the movie is able to do that. And the fact that it does it in such a confident way. It's, it's not at all afraid to take the swings that it does. I'm going to give I Saw the TV Glow a 9.5 out of 10. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon. There are some things that I do want to talk about, which I'm looking forward to as well. As always, if you like this, please do subscribe. And I will see you guys at the movies. Oh,